folks, to my combat channel news. I'm the Yakman Ron Yakovetti. Fabiano Ija, the King of Armbar. And tonight, once again, a great show. We have an excellent interview. We have our top 10, and we're going to talk about somebody who's still caged. Yeah, but, but not in the cage. <laughs> but not in the cage. Yeah. Jeremy, so Jeremy is still in jail. They could not release him as we speak. So he's going to have a little more time there. It looked like he pissed some people off very bad. Right. When we first talked about this on our, on our live uh, UFC results mm -hmm. show, uh, we talked about that they said it was a felony, but they didn't say what it was. We know as much now that it was an assault in another state. Um, yep. Obviously very seriously to those authorities because they went way out of their way to get him, mm -hmm. and they're still holding him. And they kept making deals with Dana to get him out, like Dana said. And they went, okay, we'll accept this. No, we won't. Okay, we'll accept this. Uh, no, we won't. And he's still there. Nope. Yeah, and well, if we, if he was looking from somehow some extra publicity, that was the good way to go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know if good or bad. Talk about me. That's the you know the the truth anyway. Uh, he's still locked in. And he's gonna be locked in into the end of this month, as I know, wow. to his uh, court date. Again, we may have mentioned this before, but an excellent opportunity to get a bail bond sponsor. Yeah, just putting it out there. Well, at least I think you feel very protected. I feel sorry for the guys that you have to uh, share jail with. <laughs> yeah. And how bad is that for the sport, right? Because, you know, we talked about this before. Sports still getting rid of that whole no hold bar. Guys. People think it's brutal. Guys go out and they do charity things. They feed hungry people. They give yeah. the, to people who are in need. One guy like that has an out-of-state assault. They come and get him, and they, all the news is on it. Yeah, but that's the way it is. You know, that's the way it is. That's the way it's always been. It, like, that can be on soccer, basketball, you know, like at least like sometimes people think, okay, now, you know, uh, all the, the highlights is on him. They don't worry about yeah. me, you know, so. So Kobe, Kobe needs to sleep with somebody else to get the attention off of Steve. Yeah, and it's very public, very know that UFC and Bellator numbers is down. Right, and we're talking about the viewership. Yep, and it's not because uh, you know it's not because the, you know they're not been doing a good job. It's just uh, yeah. it's very um, it's very hard to know exactly why. Yeah, it's a it's a you know it's a business. It's the fastest growing sport in the world. We talk about that all the time. Uh, they are the two top shows for the most part. I mean, I would say Strike Force and UFC almost yeah. synonymous at this point. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, again. <laughs> In an economy that's down, sometimes... Hold on a second. Who wrote that down? Say, because of my combat channel, relative Look numbers at that. in the well, UFC then it must be down. true if it's on it, it is true. And not even we don't even want to go back to... We are India. In India. We where are they, in everybody's India. trying to get in India. We are already yep. there. They already have my combat channel. And we're trying to dominate the space in India. Yep. International, a lot of folks looking mm -hmm. to capture, with, with, you know, especially the U.S., uh, UFC is the dominant brand here, trying to spread out. When Elite XC was around, when I worked for mm -hmm. them, their business model was not to go out and try to spread the areas like UFC took their brand. Mm -hmm. They were trying to buy promotions that were already established, like Cage Rage in the UK, you know, Icon in Hawaii, and then make those their brands so that they would have a foothold that was already established. They never integrated the brand and made them known as Elite XC or Pro Elite shows, and it inevitably just blew up. Mm -hmm. Is the way to go for smaller shows to just start there? and yeah. then build out of that country? Yeah, of course, they have done that so many times. But anyway, folks, we know we joke, UFC, Bellator, both a very good organization, right. and it's up and down, life is like that, sometimes the show is up, sometimes the show is down, even friends, you know, any other network, big shows in right. the network, they up and down, up and down, and maybe people get a little bit tired of the show, but they will be back and the numbers will be high again, I promise. Absolutely. I so mean, don't yeah. be mad on us, Dana White. Yes. Yves Edward. Uh, Guess who? Speaking of ups and downs. Yeah. Thug Guess Jitsu, who? By the way. He has who, who? 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 Go down, 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 down in his career. Who fought him long time ago and beat him? And I give you, I give you a little Hold trick. Hold on. An armbar. 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 Who? King, queen, jester, knight of the ah. Fabiano Iha. Exactly. I know this guy very well. <laughs> yeah. 
Anyway, Eve's a great guy. I have a chance to fight him in Extreme Fighting Championship. Two guys on the same night and become the champion. And it was a great night. After that, I invite Eve to come to my house. He's staying in LA with me and got him into another show. And everybody like, how we fight, you know, fight the guy and after that, invite him to come to your house? Because we do that as a sport. I have yeah. nothing against him. He's a great guy. That's a good question. People wonder that sometimes. Even if there's a grudge sometimes in a fight, it's yep. over. When the fight's over, you have that mutual respect. Did he, back then, I, I, was, I was saying it earlier a minute ago, jokingly, but he calls with his style, he calls it thug jitsu. He's, but you know what? He got so much better. You know, he's black belt in jiu-jitsu now. Yeah. You know? And if he wants to rematch, let me know. I'm uh, down to do it. Anyway, he's have his opponent. Josh, and we have some footage of him here. Yeah, that's a good, you know, a very good fight. And... Uh, at this uh, juncture of his career, yeah, yeah, I would agree. Exactly. I would agree. That's that's going to be a guy you see right there. He's a pressure fighter. He's got good striking. And, and you see, very unorthodox. He charges in mm -hmm. with those shots. Eve Edwards, similar, too. I've seen I've seen Eve Edwards throw a knee when he was standing on one leg. He threw the other one. Yep. Um, I mean, he, so he'll do anything. He's very unorthodox. I think this is going to be a really tough fight. Anyway, guys, don't go anywhere because I'm going to let go of a very huge secret that I have a very... W good weapon that yes. my combat channel have, don't you know? And if you're guessing, he's still straight, that's not it. Here's the deal. Uh, we're going to start to play video games every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7.30. So if you do have Xbox 360 and you do have this game, the UFC Undefeated 3, we're going to be start playing. So all we got to do is log in and play like me and Ron are gonna play a real example uh, of this game. I'm gonna play Let's an go. actual fight that's gonna a. happen. Push A, there you go. Keep going. A, A, A all the time. That's it. And we will be commentating in fights, so we're gonna try to keep the match that's coming up. That's the cool part about. Right, this so, is an actual fight that's gonna happen. Carlos yeah. Condit, George St. Pierre. It's coming, and uh, we try to get uh, Anderson Silva against uh, Stefan Bonner. Stephen Bonner, but Stefan was not in the game. At least we couldn't find him. So no. it's gonna be very exciting. But he got a title so, shot. Yeah. There you go. Now, see, if you guys wanna have opportunity to beam, my, beam me up, is that's a good opportunity. So you log in, choose your character, choose your fighter, and then there we go. You're feeling like you're in the game. Keep pushing it. Very real. Huh? Yeah, nice. It's so cool. Look at that. There we go. There you go. Nice. And ready? So let's see how that goes. Yeah, we always get this stuff. Yeah, you just have to accept yeah. the rules. Let's go. Forward. Uh, brush. There you go. Up. Right, up, right, oh, A, up, you can block, you can try block, there we go. There you go, up, 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 up. I, I need to learn how to do this. I need to, I, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, oh, not, yeah. there we go. Da, da, da. Submission, submission. submission. How is the submission? Oh, somebody, please <laughs> tell me how to do the submission. King, how can I pass now? his guard? Elbow, nice. Let's go. Now. I can't be fine. No, no, no. Couple days to learn how to do this. We're gonna get. We're gonna get knocked out so many times here. Oh, oh, fire! Oh my God! Oh no, 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 no! I thought like that's how you can do. It? Can do something else. The only thing that works. Man. There you go. Ah, come on. That's it. Oh my God. That was all I had. So anyway, folks, I got something very cool and surprise to let you guys know. Uh, the top 10, she's not human, she's a cyborg. Do you know that? She's a what? She's, she's a cyborg. She's, so you're saying she's a robot? She's a, don't say that. You're lucky that she's off right now. Okay, she is a cyborg. Her name is X. ZX23. I'm gonna turn her on. You don't say that she's a robot. She's gonna kill you. There you go. So look how cool is that? I can control full control her on, on my iPad. Okay. Is it, is it, there's an app for that. It is an app for that. It's come with the machine. Okay. So she have three. She have a human mode, cyborg mode, dance mode, and auto mode. Okay. And all I got to do is input all the information about the weight division, and she does that. That's it. 
So you can control the top 10 right from there? I can control the top 10 just from here. I'm gonna go ahead and input right now the weight division. What weight division are we doing today? I think we are doing Thursday, right? Light yeah. Heavyweight. Okay, so light heavyweight. Yeah. Okay, all I have to do, light heavyweight, enter. There you go. Hey everyone, I'm Aaron Gales, and this is the top 10 light heavyweight. Number 10 is Antonio Rogero Noguera. And number nine is Quentin Jackson. And number eight, we have Ryan Bader. Number seven is Alexander Gustafson. Number six, we have Phil Davis. At number five, we have Loyoto Machida. And at number four, we have Mauricio Huas. And at number three, we have Rashad Evans. Number two, Dan Henderson. And at number one, we have John Bones Jones. Thank you for watching. I'm Erin Gales, and that was your top 10 light heavyweight. Let me bring her back. Here we go, turn around right there. That is so cool, what? Don't, 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 are you crazy? She's in the auto mode, dude. Don't touch her when you you're in auto mode. You Let me, hold on. Off. Let her sit, sit down. Okay. Don't touch her when she's in the auto mode. If you wanna touch her, let me know so I can turn her off. Now it's all fine. Oh, so all right, so it's different. You, if you want to touch a real woman, you have to turn her on with cyborg. Exactly. Off. Okay. All right, well, you could have told me that before. Anyway, now that you know our secret, you guys more than welcome. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we're gonna be playing video games, and you know where to go. Go to www.fuelmon.com. On fuelmon.com, you look for Battle Cam, right there, and sign in. Get your fighter, get your character, and try beat us up. It's yeah. not going to be that hard. Yeah, and if you learn anything from this segment, both in the games and in here, protect yourselves at all times. And don't go anywhere because we got a very nice, cool, very cool interview yeah. with our friend. Some man with some history, some class. Yes, and he knows about touch of magic. He knows about Jackie Chains. He knows about Bruce Lee. He knows about Chuck, Chuck Norris. Norris. And he's a tough man himself. So yeah. don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back, folks, to My Combat Channel News. Very excited to have this gentleman here with us who's got uh, a martial arts history, amongst other things, that I'm still fascinated with since I first heard about. So if you want to introduce him to our fans out there and... Emil Fakas, uh, seven degree in, uh, in karate, mm -hmm. four degree in judo, four degree in jiu-jitsu. Mm -hmm. Is it's a good, good, you know, good yeah. tie that. That is what uh, a term that mixed martial arts people throw around a lot called well-rounded. <laughs> yes. That is just as, no, a, as a human being and a martial artist, that is well-rounded. Yeah, what I, like to, what I like is that you not get your, you know, black belt degrees on the stand-up as well on the ground. That is the good part. It's not too many people does right. that. They kind of stay, you know, with one. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but anyway, um, we got a lot to talk. We have a short time, and you've been around since 1970. Like, you, like your gym being around since 
since 1970 in Beverly Hills? Yes, yeah. I, op I opened my school in 1970, and I've been in the same location for since then. Since then? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's, that's good. That's very Well over 40 too. years. That is fascinating. Yeah. As, a, as a businessman, not just as a martial artist, some schools come and go, new ones pop up. How, where, how, where's the staying power? What do you think is the secret? Well, secret is, you know, is teaching well and, you know, and uh, giving uh, students what they need. You know, one of my, my things is that I specialize, you know, so if someone comes and wants to do judo, they can do that. They want to do jiu-jitsu, mm -hmm. whatever they want to do. You know, a lot of people come in, they want just, I used to be a bodyguard, so they can do just practical street combat. Mm -hmm. So if you can do those kind of things, you know, then people stay with you. If your uh, bodyguarding rates are reasonable, he likes to arm bar a lot. <laughs> it might be a place you on this show more often. I'm just saying, just saying, it's his thing. I'm not, I'm not gonna try him. I'm yeah, no, I wouldn't him. either. He can, gig, you know, like he has too many tricks. You know, the funny part is like when you a instructor and the people come to me, you know, sometimes I, I bump to an old students and they mm -hmm. go, oh, I remember I used to have, you know, class with you. I'm like, my friend. In your mind, you have one instructor, that was me. In my mind, I have over 1,500 students, right. and I do not remember you. you know? I know, like, and that's 1,500 for me. For you, that number is probably a week, you know, higher. Like, yeah. and uh, and I, I do get confused sometimes. There's too many, you know. People Listen, that what's interesting with. is I had somebody come in the other day, his grandson. He bought his grandson, and I used to teach him. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's not cool. his grandson. So you know, so there's so many generations, cool. you know. But doesn't, cool. doesn't that to you? Doesn't that speak to the quality of your product being the, the, the classes and the instruction well, for someone that, for generations I mean, to bring other generations? That, in? That's one of the nice things about it. I yeah. mean, that obviously makes you feel good, you know, that people still bring their, you know, their grandkids to me. But it also makes you feel old. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. Oh, that's it not ages that, you. That, that but part, I feel young. But I mean, you know, you have to think about that, you know. Absolutely. So one thing that I know is that you personally used to know uh, Bruce Lee, mm -hmm. and he's a legend. In, you know, is a for me he's a big legend. And uh, how he was like a person? Very funny, very good. You know, he was a terrific guy. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. if if he liked you, he was great. You know, very funny, very charming. You know, uh, very tricky. I always like to do tricks. I'll give you an example. When I first met him, first time I met him, he said, open your hand. He says, you know, now watch. He puts a quarter in. He says, close your hand. So he closes your hand. He says, you got it? I says, yeah. He says, open it. It's a dime. So he switched it. He was just, you know, it was very quick. Wow. So that's the kind of guy he was. It was very good. I, I like Bruce. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's say reality, uh, a match between him and Chuck Norris. Well, you're, well, you're well it's, it's, it's difficult. I think that I think that Bruce was quicker than Chuck. Chuck was on the other hand. It all depends on the situation. If it was for a real fight, mm -hmm. I think Bruce would take Chuck in the ring, because Chuck was more, you know, ring oriented. I think Chuck would win. So it's a difficult situation, also because of the fact that Bruce was a Wing Chun man, mm -hmm. and and uh, you know Chuck was Chinese, you know, Korean. So it, you know, it depends on the rules. You know what you play with. Right, right. You know, so it's very difficult when you say put two people in the ring. How about today, you and Jackie Chan? Oh, I think, you know, I'm too old to, to compete no, with no, Jackie no, Chan. No, I think Jackie Chan is also I don't think you're good. too old for that. Again, all depends on the rules. I think yeah. on the street, I'd win. There you I go. think in the ring, he'd win. As, okay. today, you know? as today, you see more people be using karate movies. You know, oh, like, absolutely. You know, like on, on the fights, it's very surprised because, yeah. you know, that's very, very surprised. And how do you feel about that? That's kind of brought people into, you know, back, kind of like warming up again? Oh, absolutely, of course, because, you know, I mean, there was a big interest. And any time you put, you know, martial arts or karate on, you know, mm -hmm. TV or, or movies, you're going to get people in. People you consider, know? a lot of times, they consider Bruce Lee like the original mixed martial artist for all the different things that he studied and, and practiced. And in a way, that's true. In a way, that's true, because he was really the first guy that said, just get away from one thing and start to get involved in a lot of other things. Right. So if you go back to it, he, you could pretty well say that he opened the door to everybody saying, you know, let's mix it up. In other words, mm -hmm. don't just do one thing, but do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So that, that begs two questions. One, how, how would he see the MMA movement now and the growth of that sport? And how do you see it? Because you were also... Well, I think, I mean, I think that, that obviously martial arts is a progressive art, and I think that, that MMA is the next step. You know, in other words, you know, at one time it was very traditional, you bow mm -hmm. and you do all these things, you know, but that's, that was in Japan, that was in the Orient. Now it's become much more westernized, you know. And so right. MMA is the next step whereby now it's, you know, it's skill and, and a lot of various skills. 
Like for example, when I started martial arts, it was only judo. We didn't mm -hmm. have an option. It wasn't there was no karate? There wasn't anything because I started in Hungary. Mm -hmm. You know, now all of a sudden you have an option. You can do judo, karate, taekwondo. You know, muay thai, and people have that opportunity to, to study that and put it all together. And let's face it, you know, someone that's got a lot of different things is going to be a lot better than someone that just specializes in one thing. We're getting close to go. I, I want to make sure that people knows where is your place, like. I ha I'm located Santa Monica and Doheny, uh, right on the corner for 40 years, 9085 Santa Monica, right next to the world famous Troubadour. Mm -hmm. you, you know, like, our short, like we have a very short time, but I love to have you back here again because sure, we got a lot more you. to talk. And yeah. you know, the seven minutes fly like crazy, very fast. And thank you, you know, very, yes. thank My you pleasure. Here. And thank you very much, too. For people who don't know, too, uh, if you have a website, you're also a magician, and we're going to have you back because I want to talk about the magic. I think that's Can you make this guy disappear, please? <laughs> Why not? He's trying. He can't do we'll it. We'll work on that. Thanks for watching my combat channel news. I'm the act man, Fabiano Iha. Thank you much. We thank you for joining us. See you tomorrow night.